Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone is doing good. In this video, we are going to discuss how to upgrade an external table to Cloud Big Lake table. So, so without any further delay, let's get started. So this is what we will be implementing in this lab. You can just assume in two ways. One, you have an external table already present inside your Google Cloud platform or you are about to create an external table and convert that table into cloud big lake table inside gcp so first i log into my console this is my console here you can see and just go to cloud bigquery so what are the services we will be using as part of this lab we will be using bigquery and cloud storage bucket and i have already created two more videos on how to create big lake and how to create a setup access policy on that big lake table if you have not seen that video please take a look at this video and i'll give you the link of those videos in this description section so this is the project id i'll expand this project id and this is where the external connections if you just expand this there is nothing inside this external connection you can just click on this add button and connection to external data sources if api is not enabled make sure you have enabled that api make sure you enable that api just click on this and connection type you can go to this big leg and remote function cloud resource just select this and give my connection this is my connection id and region let it be multi-region bucket and you can if you want you can give friendly name and if you want you can give description as well just click on this create connection it will take a second to create the connection here you can see this is my connection created connection info friendly name creator all those details and if you this big leg is going to interact with other services make sure you provide necessary roles and permissions to this service account like so this is the data set which we are going to use for this demo and just click on this create table create empty table from google cloud storage bucket browse and copy this data set demo leg and invoice.csv file select and then csv format project id data set id and and then the table name so the table name is invoice upgrade so this is my table name and the table type let it be external so now you just configure this as edit text so this is where we will be configuring our schema and paste this and then just click on this create table so this is what we have created so this table if you just click on this you can see the schema the details and this is an external detail so there is like as of now this is just an external table if you want you can query on top of this table so i'm using select star and execute run and you will be able to see the result like this is just an external table from google cloud storage bucket now we will see how to upgrade this external table to cloud big lake in order to do that activate your cloud shell just click on this activate cloud shell so now meanwhile i'll explain you the command so here you can see i'm exporting the project id and configuring that into this project id variable then we are using this bigquery command line tool bq mk def like auto detect what is the connection what is the source format and what is the project id and we are writing into this json file so what is this mk def so you can just go into this so if you see in this command bq mkdev auto detected connection id source format and the respective cloud storage bucket csv file path name so what is this mkdev will do so use this bq mkdev command to create a table definition in json format for data stored in cloud storage or google drive so we are going to form a json format so bq mkdev auto detect connection id the lucky leaf on my connection which we created earlier and this is the invoice.csv file so this file this url how you can frame it is you can just go here so this is the bucket which we are using and invoice.csv just click on this and you will be able to get this gsutil url and now i am going to copy this command and i'll go to my cloud shell and execute it here after authorization it took couple of minutes and then it is done so what you can do is you can see this cat command to view what is inside that file cat temp table.json so here you can see auto detect 
and true connection id cvs op options source format all the details you can see so now the next step is we wanted to see the schema of that existing external table so get the schema from your table bq show schema we are going to display the schema and the format is json format and data set followed by the table name and we are storing that inside that schema and i'll hit enter now it is it is right written inside the temp folder now we are going to update the table using the new external table definition so bq update external table definition the json format and the schema whatever the schema which we have written and we are going to update it with this existing with this existing table so before executing this we wanted to understand what is this bq update will do so in order to do this you can just go into this command and you will be able to understand use bq update command to change the resource so we are going to change the resource from external table to big leg table so i am going to hit enter now so table this is the project id followed by the data set and the table name invoice upgrade successfully updated so we'll just cross check this so i'll just wanted to duplicate this tab and we'll remain in the same bigquery console itself and i'll just execute it here so here we got one error so this is a permission denied error so this connection id doesn't have access to cloud storage so what we have to do we have to just copy this open cloud iam so just go to cloud iam and admin add this service account and give necessary roles to it so i'll just grant access i'll just paste my new principal select role go to cloud storage and storage admin and save it so after adding storage admin storage object viewer to this particular service account i hope this will fix the issue so what i'm going to do is i'll just close this command and i'll just upgrade it right execute query and start it start and execute it so this after adding the required role and permission to that service account it has fixed that issue here you can see you are able to see the result and go to this invoice upgrade table here you can see it is big leg previously it was external table now it is a big leg here you can see the connection id also has been updated so this is how you will be able to upgrade an external table to big leg table in google cloud platform so that's it for this video if you have any questions or any doubts please reach out to me or post that in the comment section i'll take a look at it or reply to it as soon as possible please do like comment share and subscribe to cloud and ai analytics i'll see you in the next video with more interesting content until then it's bye from vignesh happy learning